Hello everybody, I'm Julian from Julian Tech TM and uh, today you can see a lot of pink parts it's because Jasmine, one of my good friends requested me to build a PC for her and I know that she likes pink So with the help of Aftershock that helped me source these parts we're gonna build a pink PC And here's the surprise She's getting this PC for with that, let's thank our sponsor for today, Aftershock. Thank you so much for sourcing out these parts and giving this PC to Jasmine for free. So if you want to buy a custom PC that's all pink or all red or all black, right? You can actually do it at Aftershock. All you have to do is just email them that you want a custom PC. So you know, my custom PC wall mount, they also can do for you. All pink can do for you. All white can do for you. The only catch is... You need to wait for the parts to arrive lah. And all these custom parts, they will sell you at MSRP. So thank you once again, Aftershock, for sponsoring this video. So let's get into the build. I have been waiting to build this PC for months. It's not that the parts came in late. It was more of like, I didn't have time to build it. So finally, we got time. We got pink cables, but this pink is a little bit too hot pink. So we got white in case we want to see which one is better. The main thing that needs to be pink is obviously the case. Cooling the fans and the GPU. And here's the problem, okay? The GPU was so hard to find. You know, the GPU market is insane. So we got RTX 2060. That's black, but I'm gonna spray paint it. We void the warranty, but worth. So the reason why Jasmine wants a new PC, right, is because she wants to start streaming. And she wants to stream MLBB, mobile gaming. So she doesn't really need like a crazy ass setup because the PC will just be streaming. So a RTX 2060 would be enough for her gaming needs. For the CPU, I went with the Ryzen 5 5600X. Unfortunately, the only motherboard that has ping is this B450M from ASRock. Oh, one more thing. Yeah, Jasmine is not here. I would love to have her to build this, but I think it's better that she don't know the parts. She never see the PC. I'm going to surprise her by delivering the PC to her. So that's going to be exciting. I want to see that, that, that. What? Yes, as you can see, the motherboard is not exactly very pink, but this is the best we can get. CPU, 5600X. Lift this up, put the CPU. Triangle to triangle. Car pop. As simple as that. The reason why I chose the 5600X is because uh, Jasmine is not going to play games and stream with the PC. She's going to play mobile games and stream it on the PC. So it's not that taxing on the PC. Next, we have RAM. We have XPG 3600 MHz white 10 RGB. 2 times 8 GB of RAM. Mm. So for the CPU cooler, we have ID Cooling Pink Flow 240. Look at that. Oh, look at that. There's the heart. You can see, there's pink. This is hot pink, man. Kind of matches the motherboard, but it doesn't match the case. We'll see how it all comes together. Lah. AMD motherboard already have a bracket, so you're gonna have to remove. AMD bracket. Props to Aftershock for finding this CPU cooler. I was thinking just use a white CPU cooler, but they managed to find this pink CPU cooler. All right, the CPU cooler mounting is on now. Thermal paste, X method. Not my best X, but it will do. Don't forget to take out your plastic from the contact point. Ah. Don't make the same mistake I did. Ooh, shookness. Oh, make sure the heart is in the right orientation. Don't forget to screw in crisscross manner so that you don't put pressure on one side of the CPU. All right, NVMe SSD. We have the Lexa M.2 NVMe SSD, one terabyte. So this is Dark Flash DLM21. First up, IO Shield. Look at this IO Shield. It's pink. Ah. Ah. So the fans are from ID Cooling as well. The same fans from the CPU cooler. Fans are in. I can put in the motherboard. The motherboard, like finally line this bad boy up. Don't forget, screw in with confidence. Oh, really, you want to screw in tight, but not too tight till you bend your motherboard. Did it once when I was younger, and I did two things wrong. First, I screwed it tight. Second, no standoff screws. So the PC was working, but once you hit the PC, the whole thing shut off. Like just a shut off. Young Julian is stupid Julian. It's not a Julian Tech TM video until I face problems. So what happened is there's not a lot of clearance for the water cooling tube. It will touch the GPU 
and touch the back case fan. So here's what I need to do. I need to take this CPU cooler out, change the fan orientation so that the cables are facing the back of the case. SpongeBob time card. Later. Ah, done. CPU cooler is now on the other side. Braided cables. Yes, we need to decide. The pink, obviously is pink, but you can see it's hot pink. And this is a lot of baby pink, especially a fan. Since the water tube it's white, I think it goes well with white. Hot pink and baby pink, not same one. It's like different color. It's like blue and yellow, not same one. I got the PSU set up, all these cables we need. There it is. Ding, 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 ding. Don't need. This PSU is not pink and it doesn't matter because there's a shroud to cover it from the front of the PC. So these braided cables are just extension. La, huh? So what's great about extension braided cables is that you only use what you need. Because a lot of PCIe, it comes with two 8-pin. But what if you only need one 8-pin? Then the other one is dangling around, then you have to cable tie. But this one, don't need. So next up, I'm gonna install the GPU RTX 2060. Not yet spray paint, la, but want to test first. Test, then take out spray paint. Uh, okay, so put in first, okay? Yeah. We put in the GPU, sort it in. Pop! Very nice. Holy smokes! It looks pretty good. Only problem is the black for the GPU lah, huh? Off, even though the motherboard is black also. But it just doesn't work. I think if the G GPU is pink, it will all come together. But now, I just need to, you know, make sure the cable management is fine. Uh, then after that, we're gonna do a testing. Then we will do the spray paint. So I had a bit of help with the cable management. Let's test it out. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, that looks awesome. Oh, the red is good. The red is good. Yeah, we can change that later. BIOS, BIOS. Wow! The BIOS is pink. I don't know if you can see. It's pink. It's a bit too bright. I wish Jasmine know about PC so that she can go to the BIOS and go, holy crap, my BIOS is pink. Everything is running fine. So I'm going to bring back the GPU, spray paint the GPU, install Windows, and then we can surprise Jasmine. Let's go! Spray painting the GPU was a journey all on its own. So if you want a tutorial on spray painting PC components, do let me know in the comments below. But here's a quick tip. Do not use newspaper. I learned it the hard way. The next day, I went back to Aftershock to install the GPU and send it to Aftershock testing and quality check area. From here, I learned about Aftershock's quality control process in detail. Here are some of the things they were checked. First, system cable management. He rated my cable management 7 out of 10, but that's not good enough to be sent out to the customer. So that's gotta be fixed. Second, whether the I.O. ports that includes all the USB ports, audio ports are working properly. Before any hardware testing, they will update BIOS, enable XMP, and any drivers needed for the system. Third, benchmarking the CPU and GPU. This will make sure the hardware is performing correctly. Lastly, they do trade secret tests on the memory, SSD, HDD, motherboard, and PSU. Then they will do any custom configuration, including lighting, that the customer might have requested for. This process is to ensure that every system that Aftershock builds meets high quality standards from aesthetics to performance. To ensure the customer will receive a reliable, beautiful machine that performs according to its specifications. Now the QC personnel will sign off on the card to certify it has been through the rigorous testing process. And the PC is finally ready for delivery. Oh my god, we're finally here. We're gonna deliver all this. For the next video, we will have Jasmine react to all this. We have a secret box that you will find on the next video. And obviously we have the... I put the trolley at the side first, okay. We have the pink PC. In my hands, firing is so hot today. So I'll see you in the next video. Remember to subscribe and we are done. Next week. <laughs>